Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews and I'm going to be doing a series on electric motors, in fact electric power systems altogether. And so I thought I'd start with basically just what an electric motor is and some of the differences between the different types of electric motors you're likely to use in your RC model aircraft. Now, the most common motor is what we call a brushless outrunner. And I've got one here. Here we go. I'll show you this one. Now this is a brushless outrunner. This is a, what is it, I don't know, RC timer one, I think. And uh, you can tell it's a brushless outrunner because when you turn the shaft, the outside of the motor turns. Not the inside, but the outside. So the bit that runs around is on the outside, so it's an outrunner. Simple as that. And here we go. I'll pull this one apart so you can have a look at what's in it. They get a bit, a bit hard to pull apart. Now, normally they wouldn't come apart, but I've got a circlip, take, I've taken off a circlip on the back there. You can see there's this bell portion here which contains a whole lot of magnets. And this is the outer part of the motor. And this bell portion um, spins around and round, and those magnets there provide the magnetic force to interact with the electromagnets on what we call the stator, which is the inside part of the motor. So the outside part spins around, the inside part is just a bunch of electromagnets, which are some of them, well, they're all basically wired and parallel in a slightly different way, which means we only have to use three wires to activate all those electromagnets, because there's really only three or two sets of magnets that are energized at any given time. Now this is what we call a multi-phase AC motor. So although we're used to most of the old toy motors you had in your old toys, they were just DC motors. You just put straight DC power on them and they would spin around. These are a little more complicated and they require AC, which is why we have an ESC, which I'll be covering in a later video. But basically that's all there is to a brushless outrun. There's not a lot, is there? It's just that bell that goes around the outside and the coils or the electromagnets inside and of course they have bearings in there to support the shaft and everything but no that's pretty much it and despite the fact that they look so different there's such a wide range of them because here's another one here's a, a bigger motor this is a turnergy motor but again it's a if I turn the shaft the outside of the motor turns it's a brushless outrunner so it's the same basic design as this other one except the turnergy one's a little bit longer. It's actually the same diameter, but it's longer, which brings me to actually the naming conventions because you'll see all sorts of numbers associated with these motors. This one here is a 3530, which means it's 35 millimeters in diameter, and the magnet section is 30 millimeters. Sometimes the bell is 30 millimeters in length. So this one, it's the same diameter, so it'll be a 35 something, and if we look at it, it's actually a 3536. So instead of being 30 millimetres long, it's 36 millimetres long, which explains why this one is shorter than that one. So that's the basic. Of course, these naming conventions, like everything, they don't always apply. Some motors have different types of conventions for naming them. So, oh. But if you buy them all from the same family, like Turnergy motors or RC Timer motors or whatever, then you can be pretty sure that the, the naming conventions will be fairly consistent. So you've got to work out roughly how big a motor is by the numbers on it before you even buy it. So that's outrunners, brushless outrunners, and even the AXN has a brushless outrunner. That's a little motor there, and it has a little mount on the back, but it's basically the same design. It has a bell with magnets and some coils inside that's, that energize to spin the bell around. Now, there is, of course, the in-runner motor, and here's an example of that. This is a Turnergy brushless in-runner. And you'll notice here that if I turn the shaft, the motor outside doesn't turn. So the bit that turns, the bit that runs around is on the inside, hence in runner. Simple as that. These are more like the old DC motors that you're used to. There's an armature inside, and the magnets around the outside of this motor remain still. The armature spins around inside. So it's simple as that. In fact, I tell a lie. If we look through the back of it, we can see that the, the magnets are attached to the inside piece and the coils around the outside. So it's still the magnets that spin and the coils that remain fixed. But this time, the coils are on the case of the motor, the magnets are on the armature or the shaft. So that's it. So those are the two basic different types of motors, in-runners and out-runners. You might say, why, why would you have two different types of motors? Why can't you just all be in-runners or all be out-runners? Well, there are a number of reasons for that. Mainly, when we're using these out-runner motors, because the magnets are so far, or the, the moving part is on the outside, there's a greater what we call moment of force. So we've got a, like having a bigger lever on the shaft. So we can get a lot more torque out of our little outrunner motors than we could from an in-runner motor. And for that reason, when we want to turn a large propeller, because I mean, for example, this is a, this, this motor would, could turn this propeller here, this big propeller, 
When we want to turn a large propeller, we use an outrunner because we're going to have more torque, we're going to have more leverage to turn that propeller. In-runner motors are generally used where you don't need so much torque, but you need a lot of RPM. So this is one for an EDF. And that means that this motor doesn't produce as much torque, but it does produce a, a lot of RPM. And that's a, that's a rule of thumb because there are exceptions. Here is a brushless outrunner that we use for an EDF. So it's not always true that, you know, in-runners are for high RPMs and outrunners are for high torque. But that's basically it. What I'll do in another video is I'll explain how these motors work. Because obviously, unlike the old DC motors of, of yesterday, which only had two wires, these have got three. And as I mentioned, they are a, um, a, an AC motor, a multi-phase AC motor. So how on earth do we take our simple old battery, our lithium polymer battery, which is a DC battery, and create the AC needed to drive this motor? Stay tuned and you'll find out when I do a video on how ESCs work and also exactly how these magnets and electromagnets interact to produce rotation. So thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, put them on the bottom of the video or on the RC Model Reviews forums. And if you like the video and you want to see more, put thumbs up and then I'll make some more. Thanks for watching. See you again soon on RC Model Reviews.